What's up guys? As you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I went out today and picked up my brand new 2024 truck Roscoe 6. It is the brand new revision of it. It kind of goes in par with the Roscoe 7, 8, and 9. They redid the frame this year and they also upgraded most of the components on it and brought it to where it needed to be. So they actually listened to their customer base and improved on the things that it's been faulting on by giving it new tires, the bigger size going to the 29ers. They also changed the drivetrain, they upgraded the frame, and they put a better uh, air fork on it this year, uh, as opposed to the coil spring fork that they had on it previous. So um, there isn't a whole lot of information on this bike yet as it was a pre-sale and uh, it's not even on their website yet. So I am happy to give you all kind of a first look at it. Um, today is just kind of a go over video. I won't be able to get out and ride it today because it's raining unfortunately. So hopefully we can do some riding and here in the next week or two and just see how it kind of stacks up. But I'm happy to get this bike out and start riding with my kids again. So it should be fun. But without further ado, here is the bike. So as I stated, I picked up the 2024 Trek Roscoe 6. This is the redesigned Trek Roscoe 6. It um, now features the same frame as the Trek Roscoe 7, 8, and 9. So it is the alpha gold aluminum frame. It also now has uh, through axles in the front and the rear, and they're both boosted axles. They did redesign the gear set this year. Um, they changed it from a 1x10 to Dior uh, set to now it's a 1x9 Shimano Qs. Um, so far, the reviews out there on the Qs have been pretty good. So we will see how it holds up over time. Um, I have good uh, feeling about it. They say that the gear range is pretty good for a beginner biker, so that's good for me, um, as this is my first mountain bike back into the game. It's been a while, so looking forward to getting back out on the trails. They did upgrade the tires this year from the 27 and a half to now 29 inch tires. They are the 29 by 2.6 inch tires, XR4s. Um, they do come tubeless ready, and this bike was actually set up tubeless. I don't know if they all are, or if it was just something that my truck store did for me, but um, when I picked it up today, they did inform me that these are now tubeless, so I was kind of pleasantly surprised by that feature. Um, it still comes with the dropper post that they previously did and it has hydraulic brakes up front and in the rear. Um, I went with the matte Keswick color as it was my personal favorite. And, but the other options you can get into like a crimson red and I think it was like a high voltage yellow is what they said, but I can't remember the yellow one for sure. Um, so another change they made this year was the front fork. It now features an XCR front fork it, it, by Suntour. It is the 34 millimeter tube, which is stronger than what they've had in the past. 140 millimeter of travel. It is an air fork, so they got rid of the coil fork that was on the Roscoe 6 before. Um, it is adjustable. You do have your lockouts up top, but it is an adjustable lockout to where you can kind of set how much lockout you want, or you can go full lockout. It also has a rebound here at the bottom, so you can adjust the amount of rebound it has to kind of tune the bike to what you like. Otherwise, um, you still have your internal cable routing, which is nice. Um, all the accessories on it are still made by Bontrager, so you have Bontrager locking grips, you have the Bontrager seat, and the Bontrager pedals, but they all seem like run-of-the-mill like pedals and stuff. 
you do have um, some little things to help with it, but they're plastic and they're not that tall. So those will probably get upgraded at some point. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with the bike. I wish we would be able to get this bike out onto the trail today for you guys. But unfortunately, here where we're at in Missouri, it's raining today. So that's not going to be an option. But hopefully we'll be able to get it out soon and hit the trails and bring you guys along for the ride. Um, we have a bike park not too far from our house. So we're looking forward to getting the kids out there on the trails and seeing what this bike has. Well... Thank you for watching. If you would, like, subscribe, and come along with us for some more family adventures. Thank you.